two pounds of beef with the onions and some cilantro instead of the parsley and some pepper and salt and lemon and wine okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of the bowl shake it off a little bit and dry the meat off okay now some people say discard the marinade when you're done but actually what I do is I put it through a strainer and then I fry all these herbs and spices up to use for something else like a sandwich so I'm gonna take this meat out and get it cleaned up and dried off and then we're gonna move forward and make the couscous salad and set that aside and then we're gonna grill this shashlik so let's get going this is what the shashlik looks like when it's been dried off and the secret with drying off meat as we all know is if you don't dry it off enough it will not sear properly so you want to get this meat as dry as you can possibly get it and this is pretty darn dry right now now when I sit to shake off all the excess herbs and spices you get about 99 percent of it but if you see there's still stuff stuck here little bits of pepper and cilantro and stuff like that that's okay it's gonna fill the room with aroma this is gonna be a really delicious meal I'm gonna finish drying this up we're going to get on the couscous salad. In this bowl, we're going to make the dressing for the couscous salad. And the first thing that's going to go in, sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. Kalamata olives. Don't have to put these in in any particular order. It'll all work. Some shallot. Okay. The exact recipe will be on my blog at richardblaineseasycooking.com. There will be a link to it in the description. Okay, garlic. Freshly chopped garlic. Okay. I added the salt and the pepper together. Okay, a little bit of